Welcome to Electro Online. Here's a couple more examples of what bridge trusses could look like. Here we have what we call the Baltimore and wonder what the, where that name came from. And here is called the K truss. Notice that the members inside do look like big letter K's in one direction and then in the reverse direction over there. All trusses do have a mechanism that allow the whole truss to expand. Now you may wonder why are there different kinds of shapes and each shape has its own unique um, advantages and disadvantages and so part of what we're going to do is show the different kind of trusses and why you may want to use one truss over another what would be the advantage and it's all a matter of cost ease to construct, strength and so forth and depending upon how much of a span you want to cover and what conditions the truss will be under. So again notice that uh, here we have a substructure of trusses to support the larger uh, overall structure of the original truss. And if you look carefully, you can see that if you take those small substructures R, you end up with the Pratt structure or the Pratt truss. So people always came along and tried to find different ways of improving upon other people's designs. So this is basically the Pratt structure with some additional members put in for additional strength in the overall structure of the truss. If you're wondering why they did this, well stay tuned and in the future we'll show you the various ways in which these trusses enable bridges to have a lot of strength to support a lot of loads. I would think that the Baltimore structure would be stronger than the original Pratt structure, but let's go find out when we learn the techniques of how to analyze the force on each of the members and each of the joints.